All right, everybody. So uh, once again, uh, thanks for listening to that first part of Kathy, um, you know, from BK Forex. Now I'm going to take over and I'm going to talk about some day trading strategies. You know, what's nice about hearing all these different um, you know, speakers like us and Boris and Kathy and everyone out there that you go out there, you know, one of the most important things, I, like I mentioned earlier, is that it's all about, you know, um, having a good reputation, been around for a long time, who's endorsing them. You know, and that's how you know, but you got to listen to a few different people to kind of see what kind of style you have, what works in your schedule. I know we have people from all the way from Asia and Europe to United States up to Canada. So, um, you know, timing has a lot to do with it. Like uh, Kathy just mentioned, you know, how she looks at her charts, having, you know, set up at a certain time zone. Well, I might have set up a different. It all depends on your style. But the thing is, you can learn from something from everybody here. And I learn a lot too, you know, especially there's a lot of positions that I was considered looking at. And it's great to hear from her perspective because things do change. I mean, gold is changing, oil is changing. We just had a big pop in boil, you know, stock B O I L had a big pop up at 10 30. You probably want to know why. These are things we're going to talk about. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to talk about using price action and order flow. So before we get started, just a quick little disclaimer. Um, this is basically strictly for educational purposes. Uh, students we've trained, you know, varies from student to student. There's very high risk of trading. So please be very smart before you go out there and start trading today's volatile markets. Now, what's happening in the market this week? OK, so let me go on. Um, let me share my screen with you and show you a little bit what we're going to be talking about. I want to start off with Boyle. Uh, hopefully everybody can see this really quick so boyle just had a very very big pop let me just hide this uh, right here it's been on a nice little uptrend there were a couple of stocks that did move this week but th the question that you have to ask all of you is this why is it going up what drove the stock go higher uh, listen i had a uh, boil and it had a reverse stock, stock split you could see here it was all the way down to two dollars and this stock if you go back it was all the way up to 140 went from 140 all the way down to two dollars did a big reverse stock split so please don't look at it as a 60 dollars stock with the reverse stock split it's probably maybe up to maybe three dollars okay but um but anyway there's a lot of stocks that are moving you got to know what's driving them up who's driving them up how do we find them now i don't know if everybody here is subscribed to our youtube channel or our Twitter or our Instagram, but um, but I'm gonna invite all of you to come and join my professional trading room because I think that's why everyone's here too. These are the things that you have to do. It's not just you know be able someone to teach you how to do it, but you need to see someone actually show you live in the market conditions. So um, let me kind of let's like, move this over here to the side and kind of get into that you know that excitement part of it. So here's the things we're gonna be learning in the next 45 minutes. We're gonna talk about some stocks that we, uh, we traded in the past, uh, what was moving, but more importantly, not what we recommended, but what, you know, how to control those big losses, what prior tools to use when it comes to trading, identifying the best and worst times to trade in the market, how to scan the market. We always see these stocks moving. You wanna know how we find them. I'm gonna give you that secret sauce over there. And also the best, most exciting part about it is to find out what drives them up by using something called level three quotes and level four, which probably a lot of you don't never heard of. So, but before we move on, I have a question to ask all of you. Can everyone just let me know how long have you been trading for? Have you been doing it for a couple of days, a couple of years, a couple of weeks? How long? Just want to kind of get the feel of everybody here's experience. Raul, we've been doing it for about two years. Chris, about a year. Edwin, about four years. Okay. Now, to, to be honest, everyone, okay, because it's the way you're going to learn how to be successful. How are you doing? Are you making money? Are you losing money? Are you breaking even? Okay. Raul, you're doing terrible. Okay. You're down. Anyone else? Chris, what about you? By the way, everyone else, don't be shy. Terry, uh, Lee, I see in here. I didn't see you answer. Kathleen from Texas. Mario. What are you, how are you guys doing? How you doing? All right. So because the thing is to be successful is not about just going out there learning on your own. You got to be part of a team inconsistently. Okay, good. So let's talk about 
how to trade and what we do getting into this market. But before we do that, um, if everybody has their phone, um, you could skew, you can scan that QR code and just put it on photos. I don't know if they would uh, scan the QR code, but um, you can you have that link up there also. And you don't have to do it right now. We could do it later, okay? But everything we talked about, I'm going to do a $9 trial where you can come into my trading room and see everything that we talked on for one whole week. Now, remember, I can only get you excited for the first, you know, 45 minutes, but you probably gonna want to see what this looks like in, in the real market condition. So we're going to go out there and do it. So let's talk about something, a very popular stock. Everybody knows about the Tesla, right? So the question is, did you trade Tesla yesterday? Did you trade Tesla today? Well, while you see Tesla going up and, and keep going higher, or maybe it's backing off, do you trade the options? Do you trade the, uh, the ETF? Do you, is it going to continue to go higher or maybe it's going to go down? May, or, or what about this stock? Because Tesla, you know, whatever, $250, uh, $60, $70 stock. But you guys see VIMO yesterday? Yesterday, Anyone see the stock VIMO? Look at this stock, what it did in the morning. It ran from $9, I mean, from $2.20 at 9 a.m. in the morning. By 9.45, was at $4. That's like buying Tesla at $200, and it went to $400, Okay. Does anyone have a problem with uh, about trading VINO? Honestly, you probably even ask me, what does the company do? Why did it go? You think I care? You think, you know, Kathy cares or Boris cares or any other guru out there? Do you know why you're in the business of trading? To make money. That's it. You don't want to care. You don't want to know. We don't trade on politics. We trade on policies. Okay. So if there's a policy that's going to affect some, something in the industry, I could tell you us traders are going to go out there and trade it. If you can't, you're not going to make money in trading. But do you know what? There's even another one out there. Did you see BNOX right here at 7 o'clock in the morning? It was at $2, which, by the way, we trade pre-market, which all of you are going to have access to. 8 o'clock in the morning was already at 4 By 8.10, it was already at $8, okay, up 350%. How is that possible? Where do, you, where do these stocks, this magical stock, take off? How could you have caught on to it? Well, listen, everybody has access to it. I'm not here to, to tell you, oh, I got the secret alert service or everything else. You all have access to it. It's all in your big percentage gainers and losers. That's where it is. See, the thing is, everybody has it, but they don't know which one to trade. They don't know what makes other than if you don't know a brand name stock that's on that list, you're probably not trading it. And that's for the wrong reasons. For the right reasons, it's all about risk to reward. And that's where most people are losing money in trading. Do you know that 50 percent of the people lose money in trading because they're not trading stock? That is what we call tradable, which means something that has a very low risk with a high amount of reward. Most of your trading stocks have a very high risk with a very little reward to make money on it. Be not because, you know, you did that intentionally. You have to ask yourself and be honest with yourself. Who really trained you? Okay. And 95% of the people who trade in today's market are self-taught. So the thing that we have to talk about is this. You find a lot of these stocks in the big percentage gainers and losers, right? Now you need to know is why is it going up? Is the news, is the company fundamentals, buying and selling, technical analysis, you know, let me ask everybody this question. Can everyone look at that? You tell me A, B, C, or D. What do you pick? What do you what makes a stock go up and down? A, B, C, or D? Let's see how everyone answers this question. Listen, if you can't answer this question, I'm just gonna give you, and please don't take this the wrong way. You should not be trading. You should not be trading. Don't be embarrassed. Do not be scared. Okay. Whatever you feel and don't trust everybody else's, uh, what their ask, what their answer is. All right. Um, Edward, that's wrong. A, B, C, D is not the, that right there was not the right answer. I ask you a or B or C or D. Okay. Well, the correct answer is this it's C buyers and sellers. You know, how many companies that would have come out with earnings next week. And sometimes you'll see that they'll beat earnings and the thing goes down. Or you see a company get a big contract and all of a sudden the stock 
flies, something like, my God, why did it go up so much? That little stupid contract changed everything. It's all about buying and selling. Now, how do I know this is this? I live here in New York. I was trained by some of the best traders in the world. Okay. Um, this is the financial capital of the world. Before I was a successful trader, I was a very successful loser. And listen, I, I, I'm 52 years old. I've just, I started when I was 22 years old. I was through for 30 years. And believe me, I've been through the financial crisis. I've been through the internet bubble, Hurricane Sandy, COVID. I mean, I've been through it all. The worst times and the great times. And what I've learned is it doesn't matter what the company does. It's all about finding something that's moving and you benefiting from it. Now, what we're going to talk about something right now is um, we're going to talk about something called level three. All right. Now, to ask everybody this question, does anyone here have level three quotes or NASDAQ book viewer? Just give me a yes or no. Meanwhile, I got my little NASDAQ uh, coffee cup. They gave it to me. I'm actually a regular guest at NASDAQ. I'm actually going to be there in two weeks again. I'm there every month talking exclusively for the past several years because the exchanges want us there because they want you to know how to trade the system. You got to remember, you can't drive a car if you don't even know how a car works. Would you give your car to anybody that doesn't know how a car works? Oh, how hard could it be? Yeah, that's like giving the keys to their coffin. All right. You heard about it. You heard it through us. OK, some of you said yes. A lot of you said no. All right. So now let me tell you what's going to happen. What you're about to see is going to be very disturbing because you're going to actually now realize that you've been trading blind for the past ever. You have to understand something. What you're about to see is where 70 percent of all the buyers and sellers are in the market. OK, and I'm going to go into detail at how it works. Now, what we're going to look at is for something called iceberg orders. All right. Now, let me just go back here and let me just fix this really quick. Okay. So basically what we got right here is, uh, hold on. I just want to see something here. All right. So on the left-hand side, if you look right here, it says buy orders. Those are basically every buyer in the stock that wants to trade Peloton. Peloton. On the right-hand side, those are every single order around the entire world that wants to sell Peloton. Now, whoever wants to buy for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. Same thing for the sell side. Whoever wants to sell their Peloton shares for the least amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell for more money is down at the bottom. So what you're seeing right here is basically the true market, the actual market of what that stock is trading at real time. Now, let me explain to you how we use this data. What we're looking for is this. Something that is called what we call here at Cybertrain University iceberg orders. Now, what's an iceberg order? It's a big block order. Now, you have to understand something that it's big orders that make what called support and resistance levels. Not Fausto, not you, Raul, not, not you, Kathleen or Margaret or Larry or Goodwin, all of you. It's these big institutions, the high frequency trades, the, 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 the Black Rocks. The, the, uh, the vanguards, uh, Goldman Sachs, these are what control the market. And think about it. If you could be a little fly on their shoulder and be able to see what they're buying and selling, how much smarter and better trading decisions would you make? Well, that's what we're going to look at. And I'll give you an example of how it works. Now, I'm going to assume that everyone knows how to read a chart in the meaning, just basically support and resistance. Now, the way you have to look at it is this. What makes a support levels are buyers and what makes a resistance levels are sellers. So let me show you what we got here. We're looking at uh, charge point, okay, stock CHPT. Do you notice how the stock went from 640 and dropped all the way down and tanked to $5 and shot right back to 620? Why did it stop at five? Why did it stop at 550? Why did it go all the way down to four? Why five? Out of all the numbers out there, what driven that stock to bounce at that five at the, exactly at 9 30. well they're obviously that's right lewis there must have been a big buyer out there and if you notice out there because the only reason why stock is going to go up is that there must have been a lot of buyers there not a support levels support levels don't exist until the, unless those buyers are out there and if you look right here on this chart you'll notice that there was a um on the on the nasdaq exchange 
there's a lot of buyers at every price, but there's a substantial amount roughly right at that $5 55,000 shares. I don't see any 55,000 at every single price, but I see it specifically at that number. That is why the stock went up. Not because of Fausto, not because of Lewis, not because of John, not because of Kathy, it's because there are 19 orders out there around the entire world that make up that 55,000 at $5. So do you think it'd be smart to go out there and buy it at 520? Do you think I'm going to say, oh, the stock's coming down. You know what? I'm going to try to buy it at 450. You know what? Never made 450. And if you bought it at 520, you basically, you know, you end up could have bought it 20 cents cheaper. Uh, we're going to get to options. We're going to get to options. Let's talk about resistance. Okay. What makes a resistance? Sellers. Well, here's a stock that ran from 360 all the way to 540 in a matter of about an hour. Why did it stop at 550? Why didn't it go up to six? Actually, why didn't it get to 550? Why did it stop at 528? Because it really never really got to 550. You know why? Because if you look down here, there was a seller of 85,000 shares at 495. Look over here on the on the sell side on the on the Nasdaq exchange. I don't see 85,000 at every price range at every price, but there's a hell there's only one number one number where you see that big iceberg order and that's at 540 uh 549. so if you own a stock and you want to take a profit what's your game plan six seven ten four probably should be exactly where those sellers are because if you didn't get out of that seller guess what it came right back down to four dollars now before i continue did i confuse anybody did i get i know i talk a little fast but um, did I lose anybody yet? Because we still got another 40 slides, 50, sli uh, 50 slides to go, <laughs> which they're going to go quickly. Everyone's following along. I didn't lose anybody. Let's go over um, some more examples. OK, let's look at Tesla. Tesla is falling down. You ever own a stock and the stock is going down? You're sitting there you're like, oh, my God, we might have buy it back or do I sell it? You know, is it because. Listen, $240 is a lot of money. This thing could still go down 270 points. Don't think that could happen? I'd be happy to show you a bunch of them, okay? Um, but Carvana, you know, was one of them. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Uh, you know, Wayfair, I, can, I mean, just the list goes on. But let's forget about that. Let's look at this. If you own a stock and the stock is going down, what will what what is going to help you or what's going to make the stock bounce? In other words, what's going to prevent the stock from going lower? Can anybody answer that question? Let's see how everybody answers this question. You guys have been trading for a long time. Lewis says buyers. Margaret says buyers. Oh, you're telling me um, Leon Musk can't make it go up? You, you're telling me that President Biden can't make it go up? You're telling me that, you know, earnings? You see, telling me buyers. The only thing is buyers. You know what? You're absolutely correct. So let's go check out the buyers. Tesla has 260 orders out there and looking to be bought at 270. What do you think is going to happen when we get to 270? What do you think? What could possibly happen bumping into 260 different orders around the entire world at 270? Think it's going to bounce? All right. You know what? I agree with you. And guess what? Congratulations. You're right. Stock went from 230, 273, all the way down to 270, hit that buyer. Obviously, he was a buyer out there, didn't want to go lower, and it went from 270 right back to 273. Ran up three bucks. Why other than that stock would go up other than that buyer out there? Does that seem complicated? Let's check out LAC, another stock that was moving. Without looking at a chart, without looking at an indicator, without looking at anything, okay, where do you see resistance? Well, right out there at 1180, right? So let's look at this. Chris has a question. Would there be bulls biased or bear biased? Well, Chris, 
let's think about this for a second. Does it matter? Who are you to judge if there's going to be bias out there? Okay. Who are you to kind of, I mean, who, you know, you are, I'll tell you what you are. You're the ants on the floor. You're trying to get the crumbs. That's all you're looking to do. These people are moving 113,000 chairs. You think I want to question him if that's biased or not? Listen, that, that is a real order out there. Don't misconstrue and think I've always, oh, what about spoofing? What about flash orders? All that. Well, let me explain something to you. If you think you're dealing with a bunch of thieves and liars and cheaters, what the hell are you doing in this business? Go back and work at McDonald's, okay? You, oh, I don't want to deal with a stockbroker. I know you don't want to deal with a stockbroker. Neither do I. But at the end of the day, you want to learn how to trade the market? You got to know where the orders are. Now, without looking at any other indicator out there, I could almost tell you and guarantee, which I hate using that word, but let's just say definitely 1180 is going to be resistance. Let's look at the chart. What does the chart tell us? What's the chart doing? What's the stock doing from looking from the uh, looking from the chart? Is it going up or down? It's going up, right? Definitely going higher. So, but you know what the chart doesn't tell you? The chart doesn't tell you that there's a 113,000 share seller, 1180. So most people out there would think, oh, this stock's going higher. You know, we've got a breakout with 1020, it's 1160. You're getting a bull, you're getting a nice little uh, a bull flag out there. We got the seven candlestick. I mean, I hear these stories that people tell me, oh, you ever, you ever hear about the soldiers? The soldiers, the green, if you have, like these people have these weird formulas. If you got seven greens versus one, two reds, that's a reverse of a breakout. It's just like a joke. I'm like, how about this? How about you see who's out there selling it? Because guess what? You keep sitting there and you keep telling yourself that the stock's going to break it. You got a Fibonacci, you got a MACD, you got everything that's going up. But what it doesn't tell you is that you keep focusing on the past. It's time to look at the future. And the future is, what is that guy doing out there at 1180? I know what he's doing. He wants out. And you know what? If you didn't watch him get out, there you are, chase the stock at 1180, and now you're down 11. And if you owned it, you threw away a profit. If you chased it, you're losing money. How much smarter and better trading decisions would you have made if you could see those 113,000 shares out there of stock that you own? Now, for everyone out there, you probably want to ask me, Fausto, how do I get book viewer? I'll tell you where you can get it. Email me. Take my email right now, Fausto P. I'll put it in here for you. And I'll be happy to send it to you. But, but, but the reason why I want to send it to you, because I want, want you to watch a video that we have on it, because you got to know how to set it up, okay? Listen, we get a lot of people that come into the trading room and they're like, I don't know what the hell's going on. This looks too fast. I'm like, you think this is fast? How about this? You want to see a stock that you've traded? Let's go see a stock that you traded. Let me show you how fast it is. I wouldn't even trade it. That's what trading is all about. But take my email. I'll be happy to give it to you. It's not, listen, we're not in a software business. This is directly due through the exchange, right through NASDAQ. You can get it. All right. I heard you mention something called level four. Now there is something a little bit, a little bit more advanced than, than level three. So let's take a step back. Let's look at a heat map. Imagine taking all that. Now some people are like, well, I like charts a little bit more and numbers move too fast. No problem. Let's put on a heat map. How about seeing those orders now being aggregated with other ECNs, other exchanges, all that. So let's look at this for example. We're looking at a stock with a big, big support level. You see this big red line out there? There was literally a 44,000 share buyer out there. And you could see how that stock came down from 103 all the way down to 100. And it hit it, went back up, hit it, went back up. Look at an AMD, actually. That There was a buyer out there all the way past 10 a.m. in the morning. You don't see that in a chart. Okay? You might be able to see all these numbers, and these numbers might be a little confusing, but imagine looking at that little red line out there and saying, holy crap, there's a, that guy has been out there for a while and he's still out there buying it. 
We think it's going to happen. Stock's going to go up. How about this? Stock is at $41, looking at uh, SQ. And then right around 1230, somebody decides to come out and say, you know what? I want to sell 50,000 shares of stock. Now, you wouldn't know that if you didn't see it on the level four. And not only that, but not only did he show up, it hit that and it came right back down. And he was still out there up until past two o'clock, which he came out there at 1230. So not only you were able to see the number out there, you could also see how long he's been out there for. And guess what? Do you think you think that we're the only ones that see that? Okay. Let me tell let me tell you something about trading. Okay. Let me tell you why trading is such a big failure rate. Okay. And and I know that a lot of you here are going to start to realize, oh, now I know why I shouldn't be doing this, you know, or now I know why I can't. I showed up today to see Kathy and Fausto. When I started 30 years ago, I actually went out. Let me bring this back so you can see what we're looking at. I went out there and um, I try to trade on my own. And I live in New York and I see, every, you know, basically we know it's the financial capital world. So I'm looking around, I'm seeing all these people like, you know, oh, this guy's in the market. Yeah, I mean, you see people on TV, you see the Hamptons homes, people, you know, multi-million dollar, like where are these people making their money? Like, you know what? I, I'm actually first generation Italian. My parents came here with $20 in their pocket. Um, never asked for anything, okay? They went, they busted their ass and they said, listen, my parents gave me the greatest advice. They said, you see this, all these rich people, you want to be rich, learn from what they're doing. You want to be poor, hang out, don't do it. You know, look, look what the poor people are doing. You know, it's up to you. You want to, you want to get in trouble, hang out with troublemakers. You want to hang out with non-troublemakers, hang out with people that don't get in trouble. I mean, it's like common sense, right? So I'm like, yeah, okay. So I went out there. I want to learn how to trade. But I was a 22-year-old kid, right? Ignorant. I went out there. I did it myself. I'm like, ah, what I need to learn it. I went out and did it myself, and I blew up my account. Sound familiar? Maybe some of you have made that same mistake. Borrowed some money, tried to do it again, blew up my account for the second time. And my father said this, that's it. I'm not giving you any more money. I worked my ass off too hard to go out and do it. This is what you're going to do now. You're going to listen to me. Like I told you from the beginning, go work for somebody. Go learn from the best people in the industry. And fortunately, I knew a lot of people in the industry. Um, well, their parents, you know, friends of mine. And uh, they took me under their wing. And because I knew who they were, I trusted them. Now, I don't want to bore you with the stories with this, but let me tell you what happened. Everybody wants to trade. There are millions of people out there who want to trade. Look at all of you there in the room that want to trade. When I sat down and, I, and, I, and someone showed me this, the next thing out of their mouth is, who thinks they could trade successfully without this, without this information? Nobody raised their hand. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, this is without saying. If I have a seat on the exchange, how do I, you know, and I could see where the orders are. Of course I need this data. For, then the next question is this. It costs $1,000 a month. Who here wants to pay $1,000 a month for this data? Now, I can tell you right now, I probably eliminated about more than half of you in this room. Because you're like, $1,000 is a lot of money, you know? You know what? It didn't cost a thousand. It cost a thousand then. Today's prices, it doesn't even cost five hundred. Not even a hundred. You know what it costs? Fifteen dollars. I want to ask everybody a dumb question. If you could see where seventy percent of the volume is in the market for fifteen dollars a month, would you pay for that through the exchange? It's like a stupid question. And by the way, like I told you, don't be insulted. If you think that you don't want to spend $15, you should just log out of the room right now. You should close your account because chances are you're going to blow up your account. Why would you not want to see where the 50,000 share seller is? Where would you not want to see where the institutions and all the algorithms are? This is why people fail. And I, you know what? Those are the people we want to trade against. Those are the people, those ignorant people out there that think education's expensive. Those are the ones we want to trade.
Those are the people we want to know. That's what the traders don't tell you about, okay, on the street. Let's look at AMC, for example, because maybe you're not convinced yet. AMC has got a straight downtrend, right? What is What have we learned so far? What is going to make the stock go up? What do we need AMC to do to go back up? I asked you before. I asked you b before that. And I asked you before that. Everybody should answer this question. Buyers. Peter, I didn't hear from you, Peter. From, I don't know where, what country you're from. Uh, everybody, Mike, Julie, what do we need? Buyers, buyers. So guess what? Stock is trending down. And then all of a sudden you get right around 100,000 share buyer shows up. What's the stock doing as when that buyer showed up? It's going up, all right? Guess what? Came to that buyer. He wasn't moving. He goes, I'm not moving. You want to sell? Sell it to me. I'm looking to buy 100,000 shares, $700,000 worth of stock of AMC. Okay, no problem. Guess what? No way sold it to him. And then all of a sudden, people start realizing, oh, shit, this guy wants to, he's a real buyer. Okay? And guess what? We're at 740. Now we're at 770 in a matter of, what, an hour and a half? You know what? If you bought 1,000 shares of that stock, and that moves 30 cents, that's 300 bucks. That's about a $60,000 salary if you do that every day. But guess what? It didn't go up um, 30 cents. It shot up all the way into the close, up to 8.30. It literally ran a dollar. Dollar a day and 1,000 shares is a quarter million dollar salary. Who here doesn't want that job? I know I would. That's what trading is all about. Following the money. Uh, a couple of questions. Has he still... Um, waited for the rest of his order to get filled. Well, he's not getting filled because he's out of the money. Nobody's selling the stock at 740. The stock's already at 830, but he's still got his order out there. Think about it. If you could see that all day long, how much smarter and better trade decisions? Let's go to another one, PLTR. Stock is at 1520. Do you ever own a stock and like, you know what? Where is everyone at the future? I know the stock's going up, but where are the sellers out there? Well, we see that we got two orders out there, 38,000 and 61,000 at 16 and 16.50. Now you're at 15.75. You're about 25 cents away from a big, big seller out there. Well, do you, do you, do you want to own it? Well, you know what? Some other seller said, hell with it. Another 100,000 share seller came out and wanted to decide to sell it at 15.70 for 100,000. So now you got 60, 50, and 100. You got almost 200,000 sitting out there. You still want to own the stock? I know I wouldn't. And guess what? Everybody else thought the same. And that's why that stock went from 1570 all the way down to 1540. Now, does that seem hard? Does that seem complicated? Let, let's have a little fun really quick. Could someone here pick out, pick a stock out for me, a, a stock that you own right now? Anyone own a stock? I want to look one up. I want to have some fun with you. Give me a stock, anyone. And I'll see if it's got some good orders. GEVO, that's not going anywhere. Let me uh, bring this up over here. It's not going anywhere. Stock is on a downtrend. It's got some support at a dollar. That's that's. NVIDIA, NVDA. All right, NVIDIA's got uh, got some good movement, but are you trading a $400 stock, Raul? Ryan, you trading uh, a $400 stock? You own, you own, uh, you own $445,000 worth of stock? And please don't tell me you got the option. Just want to see a huge order. There's other ones out there, but I'll see if uh, NVIDIA's got good orders out there. And it usually does. Let me bring it up. It's just a lot of data that comes up. Tesla. got some good movement um let me just change some let me just do a couple updates here really quick and let me update my level four all right hold on a second here uh nvidia let me see what we got nvidia all right so okay nvidia is a pretty good one i, I like nvidia i'll show it to you in a minute 
All right, give, give me a second here. Let's see if everybody can answer this question. Let's look at NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, um, where was the resistance levels today in NVIDIA? Where was the resistance levels? Can anybody tell me from what you can see here on the chart? Where was today's major resistance levels? Nobody knows the answer. Do I have to spell it out for you? I don't know, maybe right here at this 45, right? Okay, 44, 45, right? It hit 45, the damn thing came all the way down to a price of, you know, 39, right? Didn't it do, didn't it do that? Didn't it do that, right? So, and then it came back and came back, right? And why did it shoot out of the gate at 930, shot up to 45, came back down to 30, uh, 39, okay? And shot up to this big resistance of 45. Why did it do that? I know why. I know why. Maybe, maybe it was the RSI. Or maybe it was the, the Bollinger Band, huh? Or maybe it was the MACD that had something to do with it, right? I don't know. What do you think? Is that, is that what it was? Was it that? Or, or maybe because there was a lot of sellers out there at that time. And that's why it hit it and came down, hit it and came down, right? I don't know. What looks easier for you to read? that or this because at 10 30 if you didn't know that seller was out there and you bought it at that price of 445 and then sold it at 440 and lost it and then the damn thing goes back up to 445 how ticked off would you be you see traders that's what trading is all about it's all about following the money let me just move this out of the way all right so who here wants to learn more and see this live in the market? Who here wants to see more about it? Because this why this is why Cybertrain University has, you know, a five star rating 4.9 on Google. When's the last time you checked your mentor or see what their Google rating is? Or how about this? Check their Better Business Bureau. OK, or has been endorsed by every brokerage firm. So this is what I want to do. I want to invite all of you into the trading room, my trading room. And you could see and not judge us on our winners, but judge us on our losers. See how we get in and out of them. And this is all you need to do. Take your phone and scan that QR code right there right now. It's all you have to do. Let me explain something to you. Think how much smarter and better trading decisions that you have made if you could see 70% of the buyers and sellers out there. I mean, think about that for a second, fellow traders, 70%. NASDAQ controls 50% of the volume out there. You could buy that for $15. I'm only telling you nine. Who doesn't want to make that deal? So listen, and let me tell you what you're going to get for that $9. You're going to get live auto commentary. You're going to get full access to all our instructors and traders. You're going to get weekly uh, Q and A sessions that we do in our trading room for one whole week. You're going to get hundreds of hours of recordings of workshops and classes that we've done. And as a bonus, I'm going to give you my book. Now you can go to Amazon and pay forty-seven dollars, or I'll give it to you for free. I'd rather take it for free for nine dollars. These are some of the instructors you're going to get to meet. You're going to meet Josh. You're going to meet Rich. You're going to meet me. We're all traders in there. You're also going to meet John. You're going to meet Greg. You're going to meet Alex. Um, the staff of CTU. Listen, when you go out there and trade, a lot of you have no idea why these things are going up and going down. You want to learn and see why trading is controlled and how it goes up and goes down. Don't judge us. Look at our students. See how they're making call outs, how they're thinking for themselves. All for a, a lousy little $9 a trade. And you know what? I'm going to even do you a bonus. If you feel like after a week, I'll give you $9 back. I don't need your $9. Think how much you've learned, you know, being here in, in past 40 minutes.
that you that you could learn in a whole week. Because with the Q and A sessions and all the workshops that you're going to get with it, uh, the recordings and all that, you know what? The worst thing that could happen is you're going to find out trading's not for you, and that's not really a bad thing. That's actually a pretty good thing. And there's a copy of my book right there. Um, how to beat market makers at their own game. How do I know that? Because I was a market maker. I was a brokerage. I was a trader uh, for, you know, for a trading firm. And you know what? They might not like that I spilt the beans, but you know what? Put it this way. There are, I don't know, millions of people are trading. Millions. You know how many ignorant people out there in the world refuse to know the truth? You know how many people here will still not pay $9? I, I had to force myself to come up with 1000 you come up with nine dollars and you don't want to see the real truth unless somebody's in denial. But guess what? I know a lot of you here are not that in that denial. That's why I know you're going to make the investment, because when you see what's going to happen, you're going to see it's the best nine dollars you ever spent. So here's basically our little agenda we're going to be getting over. that you are going to be here for the week. You have live commentary. You got workshops. You got free time. Um, you got trading time, you got class time. So you got a lot that's going to go on from Monday to, to Friday. Now, a couple of questions that did come across. I want to bring them up. First of all, um, I have some canned ones that people always ask me. First thing people ask me is, how much money do I need to start? You know how much money you need to start? $9. And I think one of you just asked me that question. Um, you have a problem with capital. You have a, you have a problem with capital? You want $9 in your pocket? $9? Then you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't waste your time being here for an hour. You should be going back and, and start building up your account. Try to find that nine bucks. That's all you need. You don't need, don't worry about the capital risk and all that. That's all you really need. Don't worry about, listen, when it comes to trading, don't worry about the money you need for trading. Okay. Cause I know eventually you go out there and find it. Um, and you worry about that later. You know what you gotta worry about right now? Worrying about, you know, is trading for you? Just like a brokerage account. You don't need a brokerage account right now. Don't worry about that. It's at least your problems. People always ask me, oh, I'm going to process up with my brokerage account. When I get up and running, then I want to join your room. No, no. But you're doing it backwards. That's like saying, oh, I want to buy a car. I'm going to learn how I'm going to drive it. When I, when I buy the car, then I'll take my road test and I'll take my permit. Okay? Yeah. Explain that to a 17-year-old and, and let's see who's the grown-up in the room. Listen. Where to get level three and level four for class? I'm going to show you that I gave you my email and that's it. All right. So does the room also trade options? Yes, it does. But you can't be a good options trader if you don't know how to trade the stock first. It's just how it is. So all you need to do is take your phone, click on that link, one or the other, and get registered. Now, um, just a couple of shout outs right here. Um, just got rich, uh, Ethan just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Mary got your registration. Mike got your registration. Now, fellow traders, just really quick. When you register, very important that you listen to me carefully. We take the class very seriously. We're just not going to give you access to the room. All of you are going to get access to the staff of CTU. You're going to have to, there's going to be an area where you're going to book an appointment to talk to an education advisor. I don't know if you ever spoken to somebody for nine dollars. We lose money on the deal. But you know what? Uh, the reason why we're doing this, because I think people are asking me the question, well, what's the catch? The catch is I'm looking for traders I could train that could be part of my team. That's what I'm looking for. If you feel you have it in you and you want to be part of a family, part of a team, this is where you this this is your chance. Okay. Um one last bonus before we go. For everybody here that registers, I will personally give you a coaching session. Now, could you imagine talking to the owner of the company? Why would I even waste my time? I'll tell you why I would do it. Because for me to go out there before, the reason why we have such a great um, Google review and why we're endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry is because there comes a time where you're going to have to have a meeting with the doctor, Right. And the doctor has to make a decision if he feels that surgery is necessary. How many of you here always want to know going into a situation that the doctor only cares about his pocket 
and want to do the surgery so you can make money or is going to be the or is going to be the person say listen after reviewing it you don't need surgery i can make a ton of money right now on you but you know with the insurance and everything but at the end of the day the risk to reward is not there so let me make that decision for you but before we do that, let me get you excited. Let me show you what's going on. Let me show you how we find those stocks. Let me show you how to read level three, level four. Let, let me introduce you to some of the people around the world in the trading room. And by the way, you don't got to be there all week. You just need to be a couple of days. That's all. All right. So all you need to do right now, get all this great stuff, just scan that QR code. Now, do we have any questions here? Um, after the trial, how much is it charge? Good one. That's a great question. Zero. You don't have to worry about us trying to go out there and, you know, sucker you in to come up with, oh, my God, I'm going to get hit with $195, $300 fee. No, 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 no. What we do here at Cybertrade University is this. If you don't want to continue with us, you don't have to continue. Listen, when I got into trading, it wasn't cheap. Okay? How many of you here have kids? How many of you had to go send a kid to college? Okay. Did you think twice about like, oh my God, seventy thousand dollars a year, a quarter million? No. You said, listen, whatever's best. You know they need the education. How about you? Did anyone go to college? Some of us feel like maybe college is not for them. Okay, that's fine too. But it's not seventy thousand right now. It's nine thousand. Don't worry about seven days from now. Let's worry about today. Let's worry about finding those big iceberg orders. Let's finding out that you know we're going into that people are predicting into a recession and there's better there's no better time to learn than now because i'd rather spend the nine dollars knowing how to trade because those catastrophes if it does happen we're going to make a fortune and as much as you like it that's just how it is all right any other questions uh can i join next week good one yes you can so if you register today you could start whenever you want you can start today. I, I recommend you start immediately and also book your appointments immediately or you can start whenever you want. There's no rush, but the promotions right now, not next week. Um, anybody else? Anybody else have any questions? Guys, it's nine dollars. That's all it is. What do you have to lose? Go out there, learn how to trade, learn how to see what's going on in the market and we'll go from there. All right. So with that said, fellow traders, I want to get back to my room. Um, a lot of good stocks are moving. I'm really seeing it. So I want to get ready. It's been the market's down 123. We've been down so much lately. It's been great shorting opportunities. So without wasting any time, click on that link. Let's get registered. Let's get you in the room. And for some of you that will not continue with CTU, listen, I get it. Maybe you don't like the way I look. Maybe you don't like the way I talk. Maybe I'm too a little abrasive. I get it. But you're going to need to learn from somebody. So do yourself a favor. If you got an account or consider opening one up, go out there and learn from somebody. And you're going to learn, from, you need to learn from several different people before you go out there and do it. Because, like I said earlier, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. All right. So, thanks for listening, everybody. I know it's been a long day so far. Happy trading. And I look forward to seeing every one of you in our trading room. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.